right, we're going to do another lesson for uh, pace 1104, and I'm looking at pages 8, and I think I'm going to try to go all the way up through page 10, where we have zero exponents, okay? A to the zero, 246 to the zero, bx squared, the whole thing raised to the zero. All right, we'll talk about those in a minute. I want to talk about the, uh, what do we do with negatives <clears throat> when we're using exponents. And I always like to tell my students the best way to think of it is that the exponent only affects the thing that it is directly attached to, okay? So in this case, the 4 is not attached to negative 2. So this is not negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 which would be positive 16. This, which is what this is, okay, this is negative two times negative two, okay, four times, which would be positive 16. But here, the four is only attached to the two. So it's like two times two times two times two, which is 16, and then the negative kicks in, okay? This, another tricky one, we do not take this negative out here and change this, okay? We first deal with the exponents. Do you remember the um, order of operations says that we do, um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So parentheses first, then exponents, okay? And then we do the multiply, multiplying, dividing, and adding and subtracting as the last step. This is, this is like a addition subtraction step right in front of it. So this is the last thing we do. So we first apply the four to the parentheses, like we did here. So this part becomes positive 16, and then the negative <coughs> kicks in. Okay, so just a little clarifying there. Just think about the exponent affects the thing that it's directly attached to. Now let's apply that to a problem here. And uh, I did, I like to choose one of the harder ones that you're gonna have in your homework just so that you're getting some help. I'm not gonna finish it for you, but try to get you over a hump with it, okay? So this exponent two needs to apply to everything up here and it's going to apply to everything down here, okay? Now, I find that most students don't have a problem remembering that it applies to the variables, but for some reason, they get confused in remembering that it applies to the number, okay, the big number, we call that the coefficient, and remembering that we're not multiplying, we are squaring it, okay? So I'm going to write out the middle step here, which would be 3 to the second power, x to the fourth power, y to the sixth power, okay? And now <clears throat> we're applying it to this, and this is like saying negative 5, okay, to the second power. So I'll write it like that, and then I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to let you finish. You multiply the exponent times the a, raise the, you know, 3 times 2, all right? And then the last step is to actually multiply out both of those numbers. And in this case, we don't have a variable, you know, a same variable top and bottom, so we really can't simplify that any further. So they're just trying to get you to think through the negatives and applying exponents to everything inside the parentheses. Now let's talk about the concept on the next page, which is page 10. It's a real easy lesson. <coughs> And that is that anything to the zero power is not zero. It is the number one, okay? It's the number one. So A to the zero power is one. Uh, 246 to the zero power is the number one. Uh, BX squared to the zero power is the number one. Now, if you want to know why, Okay, I'll do give you a real quick lesson on why it's true. Let's say I have x squared over x squared. Okay, let me, let me go backwards and say if I had x to the third over x squared, what would the answer be? You know that the answer would be x to the 3 minus 2 power, which is x to the 1 power. Okay, so we subtract these exponents. It's kind of like canceling, so you get x to the 1 power. 
Well, what is x squared over x squared? Anything divided by itself is one, okay? And if I took these exponents and subtracted, I would get x to the two minus two power, which is x to the zero power. So anything to the zero power is one. All right, so we don't have to go through that whole process. We just need to memorize and use this very simple fact. Anything to the zero power becomes the number one. Okay, it'll make your life a whole lot simpler. In fact, page 10, you should be able to fly through really fast. And again, I encourage you all the way through this course, um, don't wait till you're all the way up to a checkup and then score, but every page, every concept, stop, score, correct everything, make sure you understand it before you move on.